Generally, I am bad at video games, but when it comes to Overwatch, I'm amazing. Whether it's getting player of the game by trying to hit stuff randomly, or actually using precision and not being able to make it work. Overwatch is fun for all of the family, assuming that all of your family have their own consoles. But that's only a minor inconvenience. Overwatch started with only a few characters in 2016. But since 2020, it's had a few more, including Echo, its newest release, that released only a few days ago since I wrote this script. So I'm very confused that I've put her as not being released in the PTR servers, which is annoying me. But I'm not here to talk about the history or to criticise the game at all, just to document my experience after not playing the game since Hammond was introduced, which was three years ago. Not one, not, not, not two, but, but three years ago. Speaking of the new character Echo, I went into the practice range to see what her abilities were. Her main ability is a three bullet shotgun-y thing, and her left trigger ability is a sticky grenade. She also has a beam similar to Symmetra, and the, the, the healy hand person who runs out of heals instead of damage. This weapon is really effective on characters with only half their health. She also has a flying ability that lasts for 3 seconds with a quick burst at the beginning. And finally her ultimate ability allows her to change her form to any other enemy character. Honestly, I'm surprised this hasn't been used sooner. It seems like a really obvious takeaway for an ability. Overall, I think she's well balanced. I'm struggling to use her, mostly because I'm useless at the game, but it's been really fun to try and play as her. It's also been fun to go around the practice range blowing up things, because that is my third favorite type of entertainment. I returned from my hiatus and didn't know anything about the new characters or anything that had changed. I thought a few maps had been introduced and I obviously knew that heroes were introduced. I just didn't know what they were, what they did or how they'd make a change to the overall game landing landscape. <laughs> oh boy, I was wrong. Now, when I played it, I really liked loot boxes. So I would usually go to the arcade mode and that was the first place I went to. And imagine my surprise when I found out that Quick Play Classic was introduced. Now I didn't start playing the game when it used to be a free for where you could pick any hero. I'd assume that the same rules would apply. It wasn't mayhem, but you could choose whichever character you wanted despite if someone was playing the same character. That's what I thought it was. So when I started playing that game mode, I realized that it was just the old game that I used to know. It was just, you pick a character, it didn't matter which class you were. And by the way, I did know that they changed the game system in Final Four. After I played a game, I went over to Quick Play to see what had changed. And imagine my enormous surprise when I found out that there were three weird symbols. What were they? Where did they come from? What did they do? And why were they telling me to go away? When I finally picked one, I discovered their purpose which honestly I feel works really well with the game, meaning that two of each class were always guaranteed to be on the field, which was a problem that I'd got constantly, and it usually ended up being that the healers were Torbjorn, who would give out shield health, which he couldn't do anymore. <laughs> like, uh, when I discovered that, I, I was too sad. I was too sad when I discovered what Torbjorn had become. Speaking of new features, Overwatch has added an endorsement system. This allows you at the end of each round to go into the players and endorse them for three reasons. There are four rankings that I've found. One to four, clearly. And what these do is shows the other players when you're in matches, whether they are going to be a good teammate or a toxic teammate. Personally, I haven't found this much use, 
But from what I've heard, it's really useful in competitive play that I haven't endorsed in because I've only just started playing the game again. And that's a, that's a terrible idea. If you're new to the game, don't 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 go into competitive shit, away. Especially with your mic on, you, you you will probably get shouted at. But apart from that, if it's useful to those people, then fair enough. Because I play a lot of quick play and arcade which means that there's not a lot of competitiveness. It's not that useful. A little later, a friend showed me the art of Tiny Overwatch, which is an absolute madhouse. It uses the new mechanics that are given to custom game creators that make it mayhem. Sometimes you feel so powerful that you want to take pity on the enemy and just wave at them. And other times, you don't even know who you've spawned as before you're already dead. The concept of Tiny Overwatch is that they give you a really small part of the map and give you almost unlimited cooldowns, random character selection, loads of health and they serve this to you on a spinning plate. Speaking of my favourite things to do and relaxing, I really liked going into skirmishes back in the old days where you would usually go down and you had either two strategies of basically messing around. Either you sit down and you try and make friends with the enemy, or the enemy kill you. This has not changed at all. In fact, my experiences are more mixed than they were before. Sometimes the enemy would attack me. Sometimes the enemy would say hi, I'd say hi. My teammates decided they weren't going to be nice. There is another aspect of Overwatch that luckily hasn't changed over the years, and that is booping. Booping is the way to win every single strategy ever. If you've got a map with an edge, pick Lucio, you pick the one, the, the half, the, you pick Arisa and you just force everyone out, you, you pick Reinhardt, bring them off the map, it's fun games for everyone. To finish, like every good YouTuber, I'm going to show a compilation of only my best moments that aren't at all embarrassing and that I completely win and I'm the greatest at. Run the tape!
hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.